In shipbuilding, even the smallest design flaw can lead to disaster. As history has shown us time and again, take the Hunt-class destroyers of World War II. Designed in a rush by the Royal Navy, these ships were meant to be compact and affordable, but their narrow hulls and shallow drafts made them dangerously top-heavy. During trials, HMS Atherstone leaned so much that it nearly capsized. Engineers had to remove a turret, lower the superstructure, and add 50 tons of ballast to stabilize it. But the design still caused issues until later versions improved. Meanwhile, Germany's Scharnhorst and Gneisenau faced their own problems. These sleek battleships, built for speed, had straight bows that plunged into waves during rough seas, flooding the decks and short-circuiting vital systems. It wasn't until engineers added curved Atlantic bows that the flooding subsided, though the issue was never fully resolved. Even the mighty Titanic wasn't immune to design flaws. While the ship's lack of lifeboats is infamous, few realize that lifeboat access on the A-deck was hindered by sealed windows. During the sinking, crew members scrambled to find cranks to open these windows, delaying lifeboat launches and costing precious lives. But the most dramatic design fail might belong to the Swedish warship Vasa. In 1628, this ship sank on its maiden voyage, barely a mile from the harbor, because it was so top-heavy that a gust of wind tipped it over. The king had demanded extra cannons on the upper deck without considering stability, and the result was a national embarrassment. These stories, though tragic, serve as reminders of the high stakes in ship design. From destroyers that lean to battleships that flood and lifeboats that can't be accessed, every oversight has consequences. They're also fascinating lessons in maritime history, showing how innovation and failure often go hand in hand. So, what's your favorite ship design disaster? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more stories from the high seas.